Hello guys, welcome back to Hipster Trade. In the last video, we had seen how to add items to the list view using an edit text and a button and using the array adapter. You can see it quickly how the items are added whenever you click the button and whatever it is in the text view. Let's remove the C and add. So you can see R I M A. Now let us see how we can remove the item from the list view that we want using again the text view we will write the characters or the word present in the list view in the text view and we will rem and we would remove it from the list view. So let's quickly get started. The first thing that we need to do is we need to take another button. So now let's remove the center here and create a linear layout width is match parent and height is wrap content and we need both of those buttons to be inside this linear layout because this one is going to be a horizontal linear layout that's why let's give its orientation as horizontal and make one more button like this one so I'm just copying this and pasting it down let's change the ID of the button as button remove and text also to remove now let us give it a margin to the left side of 80 dps and the same thing to the first button also just reduce it to 50 so that it looks good now let's go to main activity.xml and here let us create an instance of button remove there is a shortcut to paste this line into the next line that is control D so you can see the same line is pasted here now let us change the name and ID also to button remove now what we would do is we will again set the on click listener this time we will do it for button remove dot set on click listener new on click listener now within this we would use a for loop let's take an integer i so here the condition would be i should be less than list dot size and it should be incremented every time the loop goes to the next point here it is showing an error that i is not initialized so let us initialize it to value of zero now we will do the same thing again that we had done in the last video we'll take a string we'll take a variable get name and we will store whatever there is in the edit test get text and change it to string value now we have stored the value of the string that is present in the edit text into get name so after this we would use an if else statement and within this if condition we will take the list dot get position I we will take whatever there is in the posi ith position and we will see whether it is equal to the edit text value and if this is true we will do list dot remove we would remove it from the list and the position would be same as I so after this we will have to tell array adapter that the data has been changed and if this condition is true then we will break out from the for loop and if nothing matches nothing from the edit text matches to the item of the list view then what we would do is we will show a toast saying that no items matched 
okay now this being done let's quickly check out whether it works or not if you have any questions you can ask them in the comment section down below now let's see by first adding some words first let's add Bellino then Modi then Trump okay now let's remove Trump it's I don't want him to see as president so Trump removed now let's also remove Bellino so you can see you can even add and remove any words you want from the list using list adapter so now let us understand what's going inside the coding first we had added the names to the list or sorry array list and then we had passed that array list to the array adapter and we had set the array adapter to the list view for removing it we used a very basic trick since inside the list view we had given it the array list and inside array list they are arranged in a kind of succession given by numbers or the index numbers of the array so we use that concept and we check that whether any item that is present inside the list view matches with the edit text that is present in the edit text and we did and then we removed that item from the list so here we can see ith position if the item at ith position is equal to the edit text then we will remove it and then we will notify the array adapter that the data set is changed and it will refresh and then we will break from this for loop if the if condition is not satisfied then the compiler will go to toast and here it will tell that it will make a toast that no items are matching and this was it for this video see you guys in the next video we will see how to make a custom list view in which we can have images text views multiple text views etc etc and do subscribe and share this video to your fellow friends who are learning Android and also like this video to show your support. See you guys in the next video.